Hey, what's going on? It's Mike Clark, Kill Procrastination. And man, we're gonna talk about something that's really near and dear in my heart, man. One of the biggest mistakes I made at 18 years old. Um, let's get right into it. I'm talking about a car, ladies and gentlemen. A car. Now, I'm, I'm literally talking to my 18 year olds. My 16 to 18. Well, I mean, you're 16, hopefully your parents are paying for it. You can't really finance anything. But I'm really talking to my 18-year-olds, man. One of the worst mistakes you can do is go out and finance a car. Now, let me tell you why. Because the majority of people I'm talking to, I'm not talking to, you know, broad school. I'm talking to people who work at a 9 to 5. You work probably fast food. You're working, like, after high school, paper route, uh, you know, cutting grass, you know, things like that, all right? When you finance a vehicle, you need to understand that that's a long game that you don't want to play. You understand the first thing they're going to say is, oh, you can build your credit. And look, you 18 years old, you have no business financing a vehicle. Worry about investing. Worry about putting money aside. Worry about what compound interest is. That is what you should worry about. Because I'm telling you, you want to finance a vehicle, and preferably most of you guys, you, know, you got fresh credit, you have no credit at all, all you can get is a used vehicle. All you can get is a used vehicle. So knowing that, know that that used vehicle comes with used problems. You don't know about the maintenance, you barely know about the miles, you don't know about the history of that vehicle. So many things can happen, all right? So when you take those cars off the lot, understand that one, that thing goes down and buy you immediately. Two, you damn sure gotta get it checked out and make sure that car is still in running condition when i got my first vehicle i financed a twenty thousand dollar used I, I believe it was a 12, 2004 mitsubishi galata 2006 mitsubishi galata and at that time it may be like it might have been three years old i can't even tell you where that car is right now i spent twenty thousand dollars on it actually paid it off um during that time i think i missed maybe two or three payments on it because it was a long three years to pay it off you know, a lot of things happen. And, you know, what I found out is, like I said, I've been financing cars since I was 18 years old. Um, I stopped financing vehicles at the age of maybe 26, 27. And now, man, I, I'm only driving cash cars. Right now, at this very moment, I don't even have a car. That's how much I am trying to catch up. Because my 20s, I messed it up. You know, so I'm trying to catch up in my 30s to really start really investing hard in my 40s. So understand how far a car can actually bring you back. Um, like I said, I suggest if you're gonna get a car, save a thousand, save 2,000, go on Facebook Marketplace, go on Craigslist, go to a car auction, you know, talk to your grandma, grandfather, see they got an old little bucket you can drive. And now I got it. I know what you're gonna say, Mike, this is not the fresh car, man. I can't get the honeys in this. You know, I can't drive around with my friends and this. They're gonna laugh and they're gonna... If you can get out of that mindset and understand that you're gonna put your money away and you're gonna save your money for that four or $500 a month that you're gonna pay, you pay yourself with, then you ain't gonna worry about it. The hatchback, man, let me tell you. Didn't have AC. I couldn't go over 60 miles per hour or the thing would shut down. I mean, but... It definitely got me from point A to point B, no issues. It didn't look good. I wasn't getting there in a hurry, but I, I was able to do that. And what that did was, like I said, I told you guys I was 100 grand in debt. So instead of me paying that $500 payment I'm used to, plus the insurance, so you gotta understand. So with all of that in, going into place, you're paying almost $700. And all of that money, people are saying, well, I don't have any money for this. I don't have no money for emergency. First thing you need to look at is your car. Do you really need that car? Do you really need to be paying that amount, that that much on a vehicle? Really, if you can go ahead and sacrifice that, if you can go ahead and get that out of your brain and know like, I'm only gonna have this car for the next six months, the next year, so I can get out of debt, so I can save up and put a down payment on the house, so I can go buy an asset, so I can invest in the stock market. You know what I'm saying? Like. Think about that. Instead of paying the bank, pay yourself. Because I guarantee you, a lot of you guys are not paying yourself. Looking back on it, that was one of my biggest mistakes was financing the vehicle. Um, you know, 
I have kids now, so when they turn 16, guarantee I'm going to get a cash vehicle for them. When they turn 18, 19, and 20, I'm definitely gonna keep talking them into getting a cash car and waiting until they're 30 to buy that brand new car because now they can pay for that damn near cash, you know what I'm saying? Or finance part of it and put a good down payment on it where it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. It's how easy it happens. You guys don't know because you're 18. Some of you guys are just lost in the sauce, but I'm gonna bring you there. I'm gonna put you where you need to be because I wish somebody would have told me, all right? Because this is how quickly it can happen. You move out of your parents' house, all right? First thing you do, move out of your parents' I need a vehicle. I gotta be able to move. I, I, I'm too good to get on the bus. Boy, I used to drive that city bus like it was a nut. Um, you know, I call it Uber so much. You can't go on no date with no Uber. I gotta get a car. All right, we'll go with that car. You gotta get an apartment. All right, you gotta get an apartment. So now, what comes with that apartment? Gas, water, electric. Uh, you need to have the internet. All right. So all that's adding up. Okay. You got your car. You have your place, you know, your roof over your head. What, what's next? Oh, you gotta get that uh, significant other. We gotta go out with our friends. That's another bill. So understand that how quickly things can add up. Not to mention, oh, you're 18, you moved out and you most likely went to college. Now you got the student loan debt on top of that. Financing a car like, bro, it, it, it's gonna put you back. All that debt early on in life, it's just, it's not good for you. All right, you have to make the sacrifice at a young age. If your friends are laughing at you, if your buddies are laughing at you, you want to get some new ones, man. I'm telling you, rip the band-aid off early. Understand that you gotta put yourself in sacrifice early. You may not be able to go out every weekend, but I'm telling you, what do I say? The motto of this channel, man. A lot of us get a head start because we have parents that know about this and understand that, but some parents don't. And you know, you can't even fault them because they don't know what they don't know. But this generation here, this generation right here, your information is that it's on your, it's at your fingertips, man. It's on your hip. It's that cell phone. There's no reason why you can't do anything. It's right there. So no excuses, all right? No excuses. And if you follow this channel, you're gonna understand that. You're gonna learn that. Um, I just wanted to get right into that, man. So just understand this. If you're gonna get a car, all right? First off and foremost, if you're gonna go get a car, please get it checked out, especially if it's used. What I mean by checked out, you take it for a test drive, cool. Don't let that car salesman tell you anything, but you finna take it over to go see your mechanic, all right? I know you guys don't wanna pay for a diagnostic, I know it, but if you ain't got money for a diagnostic, you have no business financing a vehicle. Yes, I said it, you have no business financing a vehicle, all right? So take that car to a mechanic, get it checked out, all right? Once you get it checked out, make sure you say it's good to go, boom. Now you feel, feel great. Now that's not always 100%, but you've done your due diligence, you've gone as far as you can go. Don't just get so hypnotized on what the payment is. Ask that car salesman, look, I got it. This is this, this is how many months, this is the interest. How much money am I paying total for this car? This, I, I had to learn this at a, man, at a late stage. Usually we're always worried about the payment, the payment, the payment, the payment. How much are you totally gonna pay for that vehicle? Because just cause you're not paying it up front don't mean nothing. It's your car that you're financing. It's really the bank's car, but it's your car because you're gonna be paying for this. Like I said, you gotta find out what the numbers are. Find out what the, what, what the number's gonna be. Once you're fully paid off, you need to find out what your insurance is gonna be. You factor all that in, and if you can still afford it, and still have two times of what your what your income is, hey, go ahead and get that car. Like I said, you make sure that all of that's good, and looks great, make sure your insurance premium is low. For my 18 year olds, under 25, bro, don't get no sports car, because not only you got that payment, you got a high ass insurance premium, all right? That's, it's not cheap for that scat pack. It's not cheap, man. Let's be smart with our decisions. Let's ask, what does the millionaires do, what the billionaires do? They all, man, I'm telling you. You have to learn how to be frugal and balance it out where it makes sense. You gotta understand that you gotta budget everything and make sure you can truly afford it. Make sure somewhere in that budget, 
you are investing and making it a priority. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, bitch, subscribe to complaints, leave it in the comment below. Comment, subscribe to this. And follow your boy, all right? Links will be in the description as well so you can follow me. Um, look, man, it's Kill Procrastination. I'm just coming, guys, I'm coming to you guys with a solution. I'm telling you guys the problem. It's what you guys are gonna do with it at the end of the day. A lot of people that are in their 30s always feel like they're behind because they, they play too much in their 20s. If you're in your 20s right now and you're watching this video, man, do me a favor and don't just play around. Be very determined on what you wanna do in your life. Be an example. I love you guys to the next episode.